on Insta Girl Seaman M. You've asked for it and now here it is. I'm going to give you a tour of a standard cabin. Now you get to see how the crew lives. This tour is not going to be a long video because it's a tiny space. Here we go. Okay, so here goes the tour of a standard cabin on a cruise ship. Starting from the front door, you have a couple of hooks just to hang some things on. Usually bags, laundry, jackets, that sort of thing. Just turning around here, show you the front door. Starting from the front, we have our cases of water. Very, very important when you're working on board. Alongside our garbage or rubbish. There's a chair there, along with all of our hair doing accessories, straighteners, blow dryers, that sort of thing. Because if you look this way, we have a door with a full-size mirror on it. So we're able to kind of sit there and do what we got to do in the morning to get ready. Because the bathroom is a little small, you'll see that in a second. Um, we have one of our main outlets right here. So you'll notice when you come on board that there's going to be a mix of North American and European plugs. So I highly recommend getting something like this, an adapter, because you never really know exactly what kind of mix you're going to have. So if you have mainly North American plugs or plugs from somewhere else, maybe Great Britain or something like that, then you're able to actually plug your stuff in. So make sure you have something like that. Then we have our sleeping area. So I'm currently on the top bunk, so we'll focus up there so we don't, you know, mess with my roommate's stuff. So there's a little shelf up there. You're able to keep, you know, a drink nearby, your contact lens cases if you're me, things of that nature. You do have like a little bit of a reading light as well, which, you know, really comes in handy when you're trying to be sneaky and get into your bed without disturbing anybody or get out. So you have a little bit of ambient light. And if you didn't see in the beginning, there's curtains as well. So you can close yourself in completely for a little bit of privacy as well as, again, just like blocking out the light so that you don't disturb anyone else in your room. Similar to a college dorm room. On this side, in the top level, we have our kind of, for me anyways, on the left hand side, we have the snack area. So I keep all my snacks up here as well as, hey, what's that doing there, liquor? And then down below, there is a safe area as well as a little bit more storage. So I keep all my important documents there. And then if you had anything to store in your safe, like, you know, electronics or money or things of that nature, then you absolutely could. On this particular ship, it is by lock, but on some ships, it's actually digital. So you'll be able to key in a code. But if you are coming aboard for the first time and you're not sure which your ship actually has, then I recommend just bringing a lock. It's not gonna take up a lot of space in your luggage. And uh, if you have this sort of situation, then you're taken care of. You can lock it up if you want to. A little mini television down below that. Our phone that everyone likes to call and bother us on. As well as our little mini fridge down here, which I think is currently just housing. Oh, some water, some coconut water. Some hot sauce, random. Um, down below the bed, there's a little bit of storage down there. Not too much though, so I recommend a soft shell case or even a collapsible duffel bag while you're packing up your stuff because you don't want to bring a hard case and like have it be too big and not be able to fit down there because it's got to be in your room. Up above our closet area, we have our life jackets in the event of an emergency and then we have our actual closet. So if you open it up, you only get one side in a standard cabin. So we have our hangable items, which is usually like dressier stuff, uniforms, that sort of thing. And I have all my shoes packed in there. Then below we have our dresser space. So, you know, socks, underwear, that sort of thing. Athletic wear. And then just like general everyday shorts, things of that nature. So a little bit of storage there, not a lot. If you're working on board for the very first time, you're gonna find that you're gonna become a little bit of a minimalist when you go back home because you have to find a place to store everything. So now we're moving on into the bathroom. So you made it for the joke where in our bathrooms you can actually pee and take a shower and brush your teeth at the exact same time. So this is going to prove that that's actually possible. So underneath our sink we have you know, our cleaning supplies, toilet paper, wipes, things like that. We use our shelf space to the maximum as well because there's not a lot of storage space in here. So we have cups harboring all of our, you know, toothbrushes, toothpaste, that sort of thing. You're going to get one side of the vanity so you'll be able to stock things in there. Don't bring anything like too big or else it's not going to fit and you're going to have to do this. But um, regular size products usually 
fit. Nothing like Costco because that gets a little iffy. Our towels, toilet, and then we get to the actual shower. So it's usually this kind of a shower up and down. Not a lot of place to put like soap or things like that. Usually soap and shampoo and all that I tend to put on the toilet. Or you can put it on the floor of the shower. But yeah, not a lot of place to put things. I actually brought these specific hooks with me so I could hang up things like loofahs and, you know, get them off the ground. So you might want to look into bringing a couple of these like cheap little hooks that attach to walls with you to help you out with that. And that is the bathroom. Thank you so much for letting me show you our room. The next video is going to be taking you around different crew areas so you can see what the gym, library, crew bars, all that sort of stuff, what that looks like. Until then, if you have any room questions, comments, concerns, or just anything in general that you want to know about, feel free to contact me. Bye for now.